luck to all the design duos on Winner Home. I can't believe we've neared the end of season five. Now, thrill your guests this festive season with bite-sized treats packed full of flavor. Clem's mouth-watering Baker's Snack Time Crusted Mozzarella is the perfect way to wow your loved ones. Plus, it's quick and simple, easy to make too. Mm -hmm. Clem, as soon as I heard that you have us deep frying mozzarella today, I was just like, all the reason to come to work. I saw work. the look in your eyes. I saw the look in your eyes. You were like, I'm here for this. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's the only reason why I came through. Okay, so let's dive okay. in. So Baker's Snack Time, very obvious. You know, it's the festive season. You're having it with like everything for snacks right now. Yes. Those neighbors we talk about in the dock of the door. If you've got this in your cupboard, you're sorted, right? Mm. But I like using it as an ingredient as well. Okay. So crusting it over mozzarella and then mm. deep frying. Yes. Ideal. Okay. So my favorite yeah. is the fact that now it comes with the uh, roasted garlic and rosemary salted crust in the pack as well. Yes. Uh -huh. Those would be amazing. So I've kind of crushed my favorite biscuits all together already. So it kind of already adds that yeah. flavor to... Can you pass the, the masher? Gotcha. Okay. So can you kind of demonstrate the technique? Look, this is a very difficult technique. I went to school for this. I studied years and years just to learn mm -hmm. how to crush. Okay. So watch an expert at work. <laughs> Wow, no, that's some, that's some technique, that's some technique. Okay, this cool. is some like heavy it. technique. If you want to get the recipe to this amazing, amazing mouth-watering dish, SMS the keyword BAKERS to 33650 and you'll be receiving the recipe mm. to this I just had a brainwave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow these chopsticks over here because that's an idea. If yes. you're gonna pan -a, pan a is a technique when you take something, put it in flour, put it in egg, put it in a crumb. Pan -a. pan a. It's French. Pan a. Okay, pan -a. Of, course, of course it's French. It's French, but we, we just, it's just a breading method. Uh. So what we're gonna do is take your mozzarella, tip, pop it in the freezer. You'll know it's, it's properly frozen when it sticks uh, to, to your plate. plate. Oh, that oil sounding like it's ready. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So you take your mozzarella. Did you see Bonnie's chopstick skills? I did. She, no. You guys actually have to teach me because I w I'm a self-taught chopsticks eater. Okay. So I don't think I've got the right technique, but yeah. I just kind of do it anyway. I was so, like, Bonnie just went in and she was like... Impressive. So much technique to those. Okay, cool. Okay. Flour. The flour created the bit of that roughness on the outside to help the egg stick to it. Mm. From the egg, that's going to be your glue. Uh -huh. Put it into your biscuit crumbs. Just like of... that. And um, if you want to get it extra, extra crispy, yeah. back into the egg. Oh, nice. It's called the double dunk. It's the one time it's allowed. I was going to say, I was always taught never to double dunk. You're allowed to <laughs> when you're doing it like this. Cool. Okay. Then a very, very, you'll do it to the rest of them. Very, very important is that you let this sit for at least 10 minutes so that mm. moisture from the egg sucks up all the biscuits that's in there. Yeah. Kind of gets a perfect crust. Mm. Here's something I got earlier. Oh, that already done. There we go. Oh, I like the size of those. Those are nice and long. There we go. Thank you. That's in. More you don't want it to have it too hot because you're going to end up like popping the... The, the, the mozzarella is going to get heated too quickly. It's going to okay. end up bursting. Okay. So a nice medium high heat is perfect. Okay. There we go. But you're looking for that sizzle around the biscuits. Okay. After about a minute, like super golden brown. Ooh. Look at that. They are absolutely addictive, okay? I was gonna say, I'm gonna have it as a snack. I'm like, no, nah, you'll have that whole thing as a meal, just like a plate by yourself in a corner. I could no easily do that. No one's looking at you. Yeah. That's the way. And Kim, is the reason why you freeze them just so that the mozzarella doesn't cheat, uh, melt too quickly? Oh my gosh, we have literally the same brain. Yes, I love it. That's exactly why <laughs> you freeze it. Except yours first. actually went to school for this. <laughs> <laughs> How easy is that? This is super easy, super lovely to make, and trust me, I'm sure your guests will be coming back for more. So to get the ingredients list to this recipe, SMS the keyword BAKERS to 33650. But just in case you missed any of the steps, here's a quick recap. These Baker's Snap Time Biscuits are the ultimate treat this festive season. I've got all those notes down, ready packed. Clem, thank you so much for the recipe again. If you want to get this key, this key recipe, <laughs> SMS the keyword BAKERS to 33650. And remember, SMSs are charged at 1.50 and free SMSs don't apply. <laughs>